Hello and welcome to the concept what is word formation. Word formation. Word formation is the creation of any word. It is the study of how words are formed. Word formation is a means of deriving, generating linguistic units to invent a new word or to construct a new linguistic concept. Word formation. Word formation is an important means of supplementing or enhancing vocabulary. It helps in forming specialized terms. Word formation is the branch of linguistics that examines derived words in terms of their origin and functioning, their productivity and their use in different styles of speech. Word formation. Word formation has traditionally been considered a branch of lexicology. Lexicology refers to the study of the form, meaning and behavior of words. Word formation is also considered a branch of morphology as morphemes help in forming new words. In this way, word formation is also known as derivational morphology. Word formation there are different types of word formation processes. They are as follow. Coinage, borrowing, compounding, blending, clipping, back formation, conversion, acronyms, derivation. Coinage. It is the invention or creation of new words or terms. Coinage or invention is the process whereby new words are created outright either deliberately or accidentally to fit some purpose. Coinage. Coining is very rare. It does not always happen. However, coinage happens in rapidly changing cultures and societies. In modern time, particularly in the field of media, business or medicine research, people try to outdo each other with more or better words to name their products. Coinage. Often these trademarks are adopted by the masses and they become everyday use of language. Yule 2006. Usually words are coined to express new ideas, processes, products, etc. in the language. Coinage. Coinage sometimes is also referred to as neologism. The process of inventing entirely new words is known as neology. For example, we have these new invented terms in modern time, Xerox, Kodak, Exxon, Linux, Google, Facebook, Aspirin, YouTube, etc. Borrowing. Borrowing is the process whereby new words are formed by adopting words from other languages together with the concepts or ideas they stand for. Borrowing involves copying a word that originally belonged to one language, now being used into another language. Borrowing. Words are borrowed due to historic occurrences such as conquests and invasions or to geographical proximity. Borrowing requires that the borrowing language and the source language come into contact with each other. Borrowing Over its 1,500 year of history, English has borrowed from hundreds of languages, though the main ones are Latin, Homicide, Greek, Chorus, French, Mutton, German, Semester, etc. Borrowing The borrowed word never remains a perfect copy of its original. It is made to fit the phonological, morphological and syntactic patterns of its new language. For example, the German semester pronunciation may be a bit different from the English pronunciation of the word semester. Examples of borrowed words from other languages in English. Alcohol from Arabic, Boss from Dutch, 
Coruscant from French, Piano from Italian, Robot from Czech, Barbecue from Spanish, Yogurt from Turkish, etc. Compounding Compounding consists in the combination of two or more usually free morphemes or root morphemes to form a new word. In other words, compounding forms a word out of two or more independent words. The words formed are called compounds, compound words or compounding. In brief, compounding is the word formation process in which two or more lexemes combine into a single new word. We have more points. Compounding. For example, the word blackboard, heartfelt, brother-in-law are compound words. They are made up of the root or free morphemes or independent words such as black and boat, blackboard, heart and felt, heartfelt, brother in and law, brother in law, respectively. Compounding. Compounding is a very common process in most languages of the world. In English, for instance, compound words have the following characteristics. Compound words behave grammatically and semantically as single words. For example, bathroom, school bus, water resistant. Compound words can be written in three different ways. For example, open style, that is to say, with a space between the parts of the compound. For example, toy store, there is a space. Diving board, there is a space. Flower pot, there is a space in between. Hyphenated style, that is, with a hyphen, separating the elements of the compound. For example, flower pot, hyphen, air brake with hyphen, shipone with a hyphen, solid style, that is to say, without a space or hyphen between the component elements of the compound. For example, flower pot, there is no space, washrooms, no space, pickpocket, no space. Note about compounding. Preference for a particular form of writing, the compound word depends largely on lexicographical conventions and the variety of English use. For instance, Hyphenation, that is, separating the elements of a compound with a hyphen, is more common in British English than in American English. In American English, the tendency is to write the compounds open or solid. However, hyphenation is quite common practice in both English. Global meaning of the compound words. The global meaning of the compound word can often be guessed from the individual meaning of each element of the compound. For example, a boathouse is a shed in which boats are stored. The meaning is easily understood. A book store is a store which sells book and so on. The meaning of book store is easily understood. But there are a few compound words whose global meanings must be learned as if they were single words because such meanings cannot be gauged from the individual meaning of the component elements of the compounds. For example, a red coat is a British soldier, not a coat that is red. So a red coat, it has an entirely different meaning. That is to say, a British soldier. Similarly, a flat foot is a detective or policeman. A turncoat is a traitor, a hot dog is a kind of fast food, etc. So we have entirely different meanings with all these compound words. Compound words usually have the primary stress on the first element of the compound. For example, aircrafts, chewing gum, etc. We have the stress on ear and chewing. Following are a few possible combinations how words are combined to make new words. For example, noun plus noun is equal to noun. For example, sunrise, dancing girl, handshake, air conditioning, cigar smoker. 
we can see we have the combination of sun rise noun plus noun I still makes a word noun likewise all these words then we have the combination of verb plus noun is equal to noun for example call girl dance hall then we have adjective plus noun is equal to noun for example dark room high bro that is to say cultured <coughs> noun plus adjective is equal to adjective for example ear sick bottle green then we have pronoun plus noun is equal to noun for example she pony she goat preposition plus verb is equal to verb for example overtake undergo preposition plus noun is equal to noun for example on looker off day etc blending blending is the process whereby new words are formed by combining parts of two words usually the beginning of one word and the end of another examples of blending we have the word smoke plus fog take the beginning of the smoke and the last letter of fog and it becomes a smog likewise we have breakfast and lunch beginning of breakfast bra and lunch and then we have brunch likewise we have helicopter airport beginning heli the last part port heli port then we have motor plus hotel beginning of the word mo and the last part of the tell motel electro plus execute the beginning of electro all and cute electrocute we have these examples of blending some more examples of blending european plus television eurovision multiple plus university multi university news plus broadcast newscast parachute troops para troops television broadcast telecast travel plus catalog travelog so we see that the beginning of the one the the first part of the word the beginning of the word and the end of another word we join together and we turn into another word that is called blending according to quark et al 1985 acronym clipping and blending are three highly productive ways in which abbreviation that is the shortening of words is involved in english word formation clipping clipping is the process whereby new words are formed by shortening other words that is by eliminating the initial part the last part or both parts of those words examples of clipping phone from telephone the initial part is eliminated plane from airplane the initial part is eliminated removed ad from adverb or from advertisement this initial part is taken and the last part is eliminated exam from examination the last part is eliminated exam flu from influenza the initial part and the last part is are eliminated and the middle part is taken fridge especially british english it is used from refrigerator we have the fridge but in order to suit the requirement we have added d and it becomes fridge attention remember that the short form or clipping represents the word in its entirety also the clipping may not be used in the same context as the longer word for example the word exam is mostly used to refer to academic examinations or tests not to be used for medical examinations or checkups tone of informality clipped forms generally show a certain tone of informality which is often reflected in their spellings for example showbiz for show business cause you know when you speak fast you just skip ba sound cause or cause for because perhaps for perhaps note about clipping note that in some cases the spelling is adapted to suit the pronunciation of the original word for example mike as in mike for microphone mike with capital letter 
as Mike for Michael, name of person. Narc as Narc for narcotics. Bike as bike for bicycle. Back formation. It refers to a specialized type of reduction process in which a word of one type, usually a noun, is reduced to form another word of a different type, usually a verb or vice versa. For example, from noun to verb, we have a number of words as noun, donation, changes into donate, likewise we have beauty, beautify, revision, revise, creation create what we notice is that we change the form of noun to the form of verb we have some more examples from verb to noun we have a number of words as verb like edit editor televise television form formation play player etc so what we notice here is that we change a verb to noun so this process is known as back formation because we reduce to another type of what acronyms acronyms are the words which are formed from the initial letters of a set of other words or a sentence for example number one from the initial letters of the words of the phrase north atlantic treaty organization the word nato is formed take the initial letters n a t o as in nato two from the initial letters of the words of the sentence i o u the word i o u is formed likewise number three from the initial letters of the words of the sentence i miss you the word i m y is formed we move on to the next types of acronyms according to quark et al 1985 there are two main types of acronyms namely number one acronyms which are pronounced as a word number two acronyms which are pronounced separately as sequence of letters also called alphabetisms we move on to the next type one acronyms pronounced as a word like we have this nasa the full morph of nasa is national aeronautics and space administration unesco united nations educational scientific and cultural organization cobol common business oriented language then we have type 2 acronyms pronounced as sequence of letters in such examples like vip very important person fbi federal bureau of investigations here we have to take note of this. In writing, the more institutionalized formations have no periods between their component letters. No period. I mean, no full stop in between. This tendency is especially more common in British English. Acronyms pronounced as sequence of letters. Note, remember that each constituent letter of these acronyms usually represents a full word or just a part of a word as in the following examples TB, tuberculosis, TV, television, conversion. Conversion or zero derivation is the process by which new words are created by using a word in new functions, that is by shifting, changing or converting its original grammatical class to another class without any change in its form or without changing its form example one water used as noun when the word water is used in the following sentence give me some water please it is used as a noun which is probably its original and more common use example two water used as verb but when water is used in the sentence the children water the plants every morning. It is used in a new syntactic function, namely as a verb. And no change in spelling or pronunciation has been made. Note, in other words, the grammatical category of the word water has shifted from noun to verb. We move on to the next. Example 3. Walk used as verb. 
Another example of this process is the use of the word walk in the following sentences. If the shop isn't too far away, we can walk over there. He can easily walk to the shop. Example for walk used as noun. I take a walk around the block every evening. Let's have a walk around together. Note, in the first two sentences, example number three, walk is used as a verb. Probably its most common use. In the next two sentences, example number four, walk is used as noun. As we can see, the very same word walk without undergoing any change in its spelling or pronunciation passed from verb to noun. This is called conversion or zero derivation. The word remains the same, but the grammatical category changes according to the situation, according to what type of sentence we are going to make. As we have seen in the examples, walk and we have seen in the examples, water. In the process of conversion, among the changes in pronunciation are the following. For examples, we have the grammatical class noun and we have the grammatical class verb. These are the changes that take place in the process of conversion with some words. For example, abuse, abuse, relief, relieve, advice, advise, house, house, use, uses, belief, believe, grief, grieve, have, have. Derivation, this is the last type of word formation process. Derivation is further divided into affixes and affixes has three more parts, prefixes, suffixes and infixes. Derivation. Derivation is a part of bound morpheme. It is made by means of many small bits of the English language which are not usually given separate listings in dictionaries. They are known as affixes. Now let's talk about affixes. Affixes, affixes are bound morphemes. They are letters generally added to the beginning or end of a root word or inserted within a word to change its meaning. Types of affixes. We have three types of affixes. The first one is prefix, second is suffix, third one is infix. Now let's talk about prefix. A prefix is added to the beginning of a root word. Examples of prefix, unhappy, dislike, rewrite, disappear, impossible. As we notice, we add to the beginning of the root word like un, dis, re, dis and im. Now we move on to the suffix. A suffix is added to the end of a root word. Examples of suffix without fearless, quickly, playing, cocked. So such letters like out, less, li, ing, et, they are added to the end of the root word. So they are the examples of suffixes. Infix. An infix is a word element, a type of affix that can be inserted within a word. Examples of infix. But before that, we have to note infixes are relatively very rare in English, but you can find them in the plural forms of some words like cupful, cupsful, a spoonful, a spoonsful, passerby, passersby. We have some more words like brother-in-law, brothers-in-law, mother-in-law, mothers-in-law, daughter-in-law, daughters-in-law. These are some of the examples of infix. Hope you understand the lesson. We have the references like this. Ewell George, The Study of Language, McCarthy, Andrew, Carstairs, and Introduction to English Morphology. Hope you understand the lesson. Thank you and goodbye.